Hi, Silly Story Sunday continues, but I was just thinking, I've only been out of school a couple days, and I know that when I need great ideas, I always ask my students. So it occurred to me that I've been reading all these really great stories, but some of the best authors of Silly Stories are you guys. So we're, I'm going to show you how to make your own silly story at home. So you can do this with paper or without paper. You can do this with your parents or without your parents. Some of you older siblings, you can even teach this lesson to a younger sibling. It'd be pretty cool. So I have my paper, and this is pretty big just because I'm doing it on the video, and my handy dandy duct tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the three parts of my story. I have a beginning, I have a middle, and I have an end. So what I'm gonna do, my, my marker is not very, very strong here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make three lines. All right, so I have three different spaces, beginning, middle, and end. And this is where I'm gonna brainstorm what happens in my story. So, hmm, let's see. For the beginning of my story, who do I want my character to be? I think I want my character to be an alien, all right? So I think in the beginning of my story, I'm going to draw an alien. He's going to have little alien antennas, and he'll have three eyes, because aliens you can make have any kind of eyes you want. And he's going to have a big smile, all right? So here is my... Whoops, I dropped the Y. Here is my character. This is my alien character. All right, and I'm going to think of something super silly that he could do in the beginning of the story that might cause a problem because sometimes the best part of a story is how they solve a problem. So let me see. Oh, I know. I'm going to say that all the lights went out on the planet. All right, so I'm going to draw a little light bulb. And I'm going to say that all the lights went out. There were no more lights. Oh my goodness, no more lights. That's a huge problem. And let me see, what's one silly thing that could happen? So with all the lights off, what's something silly that could happen? I bet that all the aliens are bumping into each other. So I'm going to draw a picture over here of one alien. And he's got a surprised face with his three eyes because he's bumping into another alien. And this alien's like, oh no, people, people, excuse me, excuse me. So that's my silly picture of what happens next. They're all bumping into each other because the problem is that the lights went out. Now, this is my favorite part, okay? So the middle, if you draw like a little mountain over here, here's my little mountain. The middle of the story is where there's a problem and they try and solve it and we figure out what happens. So I wonder what would be a really cool, since you know, like you guys are so smart and you guys have great ideas, sometimes even better than the adults in the world. What could this alien do to solve the problem of all the lights going out? What could he do? Oh, I know, this is my idea. You, you can keep yours. I think that the alien found out that he had glow-in-the-dark boogers. Oh! He was being so good and using Kleenex and tissue to, to blow his nose that one day he blew his nose and he looked and he had glow-in-the-dark boogers. So let's see. I'm going to make my alien three eyes. Here's his nose. He's going to blow his nose and it's going to light up with glow-in-the-dark boogers. I can make my story as silly as I want because it is my silly story. That's the beauty of making stories, right? You can make up whatever you want. So, he blew his nose and there were glow-in-the-dark boogers. And he was like, oh my God, that's so cool. But, oh my God, that's so gross. So, how is he going to use this to solve the problem in the story? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Booger lights. Got it. All right, so at the end, he got, I'm going to make a big happy face because at the end, I want to figure out 
how the problem was solved. So I think that he's going to take those tissues and he's going to put them in glass jars like with lightning bolt, like with lightning bugs and so that nobody else gets the germs, but we can keep the power of the glow in the dark boogers. This story is crazy. All right, let's see. So I'm going to make a jar and let's see. I'm going to put all the glowing booger tissues in the jar. Ah, oh, and he made the very first glow in the dark booger light. And now they're all over the kingdom. Is there a kingdom? No, we're doing space aliens, right? They're all over the planet and everybody can see until the lights come on. And when the lights come on, they can throw away all the booger jars. All right. So as you can see, that story got really silly really fast. I don't even know how I went from beginning to end. But now the best part is I can retell my story to whoever I want. And I'm just going to take my little chart with me. So I'm going to show you how I retell it. And then I can't wait to hear some of your stories. So in the beginning, there was an alien. And I didn't even name my alien. You guys can name it whatever you want. And the problem was that all the lights were out on the planet. Oh, man. So I drew a picture of a a light and it was crossed out and there it was silly because everybody was bumping into each other and they were going people 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 oh, excuse me then in the middle when we get to the middle we're trying to figure out how the problem was solved so we can get back down the hill and have a happy ending so how the problem was solved was he was innovative he figured out that when he blew his nose he had glow in the dark alien boogers so he used that resource, he put them into jars so they'd be safe and the germs wouldn't spread. And then he used those jars to light the kingdom, why do I keep saying kingdom? To light the planet so that everybody could see until the lights came on and then they threw all the germy jars away. But in the meantime, it was a pretty good solution to a pretty interesting creative problem. All right, so that's my silly story. It's super, super silly. But I know that you guys will create some even more silly stories. All right? So feel free to get a piece of paper or you can just think what happens in the beginning, the middle, and the end. What's the problem and how does your character solve it?